Hello friends, in this video I'm going to show you the use of static and read of a view child uh, feature. So we have the view child feature in Angular uh, 8, 9 and the other versions also. But uh, in other videos in uh, uh, we have seen that how to use view child. But we, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the property static and the read that are from the a view child so as you can see in my screen what i have currently is a uh, calendar so here this is only showing the day and the year month day and year and here also i have a message that is uh, that is a uh, that is a kind of greeting message which i have in my page uh, as an array of multiple messages and it will randomly show one at a time after uh, if i refresh this page it will go and uh, come new message as you can see here also I have a message that that saying uh, hi name so there we have a variable in the component and there is the name I have given the value for the variable so if I show you the home here if I show you the home component let me show you how we are using this so this is the home component and here I have called the calendar date component and what I have in the calendar date component it's simply as I told uh, the high name the month day and year and the greeting message uh, what we have in the greeting message that's a small array of multiple uh, one-liner messages to greet okay, and this is the function get message where uh, this has been called in the on init and using this and setting the message randomly So suppose this is a third party component and we don't have access or the permission to change directly in this component in this case or in this uh, in some situation like this how we can do interaction with this component from our home component from where we are using the uh, using the component. So to do this first we need to uh, get the access to this comp uh, to this component right so to do this will i will sim simply place a placeholder here my calendar date and here what i'll do i'll i'll do a view child for this the placeholder i have given the template reference this is the my calendar date template reference i have given in my home component here so as you can see here i have two properties static and read static false is the default one and what this will do static uh, okay let me make it static false first uh, this okay and here we are saying that we want to read this as an element so uh, as a dom element and as you know we will be getting as native element in, in angular right so uh, using this i just get the access to this uh, to this component as one element reference now as you know we have once we have the control and we have the hook ng uh, after view in it we can do any kind of modification here say we want to change the color of the greeting message right so here we have the greeting message this one we have the class greeting message now we want to change the color background color and padding of that message so let me save it and it should replace automatically so as you can see the padding has been applied here and the color background color has also been changed now this is pretty simple now see i want to change the name property here in the calendar component i have the name property right so you can see hello robin so it will show hello robin here instead hello there right now uh, say I don't have any control from this component to from this calendar component to change the name so how can I do this so uh, if you want to, to change this in the home page I can try to do this right so so uh, as of now it's uh, it's element right so uh, using DOM element or the native element I'll not be able to access any any um, variable of this component so I what I have to do I have to first import the component uh, here 
these are the same component which is the responsible to show the calendar and again i'll do the view child for the same component but this time it will not be element reference this will be the component reference the same component right now i'll try to but will try to make change the username property say yeah, i want to make it to uh, such a what will happen in this case as you know we cannot change it uh, directly once it's loaded in the view so we will get an error message that expression has changed after it has been checked right so to resolve this what we can do simply uh, we have obviously uh, uh, we have the we have the feature to do this using the static property now it's not static and okay before that also i'd like to show you that in on init i'm not getting any access to the component so if i try to log it here and also in we win it in both the cases let's see in i'll mention it view unit and here here you can see in view unit i'm getting the component here but in the in in on in it in ng on in it it's undefined now let me try to make it as true now see the magic in both cases it's available now right so what i'll do now i'll simply go there and we'll try to make do something else and let's see it's reflecting or not see it's got reflected so this is the uh, use of static say in some cases uh, let me give you a simple example say we ha you have a model window that's not visible uh, initially and obviously there will be uh, some control or some input property you can pass to the model window component to make it visible and to hide it but if you want in some situation if you don't want to pass anything to the model window component but from your component from the parent component component itself if you want you can just do the view child of that uh, model direct uh, model component and set the value to true show true then uh, probably it will it will it will show it will show in the view so this is the use of static and i have also told you like the use of read property here i am reading uh, the element as an dom element element reference and here as a component here also i have another property that is the view container reference that uh, that i'll explain in some another video which will be basically uh, i'll be using to load component dynamically so that will be dynamically component loading so how to do that i'll show you that in some other video Okay, now uh, another uh, let's let's take another use case here. Say I want to, as you know, if I refresh this page, this message will be changed every time. In every refresh, it will randomly pick one and it will be placed here. Now, if I want to, uh, if I want that this message will be changed in every one seconds automatically. How we can do this? So since I have the access to the component itself now, I can also have the access to the methods of that component. So I can obviously do a set interval in every one second i can call the function which is responsible for changing the message so get message is the function here this is setting the message randomly now if i go to the page you can see it's automatically changing the message now what will happen if if i have multiple of say this kind of element in a view it will be obviously it will be applied to one and since this is a list we will be using the query list <coughs> so using the query list you can do that let me move and show you to the to you uh, another example suppose we have a um, box kind of uh, implementation this is a component will be uh, sending the header to the message uh, to the component and the body to the component and we can have the uh, minimize and maximize feature here <coughs> so what we'll do so let me go to the page first so this is the page say this is the model window or box window you have the header body and the footer and same way i have given the template reference here and 
the component what I did I have the element reference here and in the after view in it what I did simply I get the native element and uh, header and body section I changed the inner HTML for the body and the header so uh, I have to also check if the body is uh, undefined or not because once by default it's uh, minimized will uh, it will be undefined in that case right so say um, if uh, So initially if you want that uh, this block will be minimized so how we'll do this so let me go to the component first mm, see box component is this one and what I have is minimized is true by default let's make let me make it false <coughs> now the window will be opened by default now uh, some situation came that uh, the requirement came that you have to uh, initially make that window minimized the same way I did on the previous uh, previous page, the home page. So what I did, I simply took the view child for that component and read it as component. And the same way I change the static from false, which is default one to true, so that I can get access in on init function. So here I made this is minimized as false. Now it will be as true. So. If I change it, it will be minimized by default. That's where thing is minimized as true, so it will be minimized by default. And uh, obviously, we can change the inner image HTML of these two. 